Welcome, my name is Roland Watzecher and in this video I'm going to talk about fighting left-handed fighters with Viking sword and shield. Because I believe that martial arts is not a mere collection of various techniques, but it's about understanding the underlying principles that make technique work, it's not all too difficult for me to figure out how to approach a sinistral fighter. And I hope you're going to find it useful uh, watching this video and uh, seeing how I apply my teachings to this particular situation. If you feel like you want me to teach you firsthand, you are most welcome to get in touch if you want to hire me for a class, for a workshop, for Sword and Shield, be it with a Viking Shield or Sword and Buckler. And uh, you're most welcome to get in touch and uh, we will find a date that is convenient both for you and for me. Also note that uh, you can assist my work by becoming a patron of mine. Thanks a lot for all those of you who already do so and who are benefiting from according rewards such as seeing videos long in advance, weeks before everybody else does. Plus there's a lot of material on my Patreon pages, half of which is public, uh, but then there's a lot of patron only posts that I have uploaded to my Patreon pages, such as uh, documentation on historical weapons that I have examined and uh, um, similar material. So you're most welcome to check out my Patreon pages, but for now, I hope you are going to enjoy this video and I hope you will find it useful. As a rule of thumb regarding left-handers, with left-handers you, uh, uh, you are Looking, almost looking in the mirror, there's weapon on one side and shield on the other. Okay, what's the purpose of the shield? Protect and attack. Pun? Protect you and attack your opponent. Exactly, yes, exactly. So it offers protection in a different way than uh, just the hand weapon would do. So uh, you want it to protect you. So if we advance at each other in the usual position, then this doesn't offer any protection at all. So either the lefty or the righty will turn the shield in such a fashion that it does pro provide protection. It doesn't make sense to uh, reduce the protection of your shield to just a thin line. Now we're basically facing with hand weapons only. So when, I have a, when, I, uh, when I'm facing a left-hander and I approach him, I try to make sure that I'm uh, turning my shield in such a fashion that the shield, as I approach, provides a cover so he cannot uh, throw forward his weapon and um, hit my exposed sword hand. Now, um, if we look, if you go to a standard position, if I manage to get to here, I bind, and because it's left versus right, there is more hand weapon action than with right versus right. So, um, with left versus right, I oftentimes first bind with the weapon. A step, Fold it to the side, that's it. That's actually pretty cool and simple. And again, you see the way that I bind and that I'm on top of his weapons is the same that I use with the right-hander, so it's the same that I do with the sword. If I go here, I'm on top, I have one to bind. And I do that with the hand. Uh, kannst du das mal gegen mich machen, was das geht? Ja, ne? Okay, so likewise, uh, now he's doing it, so I'm in my stance. And um, while we're at it, I'm also going to show the counter. That's easier to show if you are using a sword, just to explain the mechanics somewhat better. Okay, so um, I'm in the standard position. He's countering that as he folds, like, as he folds my weapon to the side. Thanks. So his first action is bind against the weapons, and now. As I feel that he's on top of my weapon, I yield. As his shield comes, I use this point as a pivot point, fold over myself. And so I must not let his shield edge come on top of my shield, then the counter doesn't work. So if I only respond with my hand weapon, but his shield goes over mine, then I'm still fucked. If at the same time as I yield with the weapon, I go out with my shield edge, then I can fold uh, over his shield in time. Yeah? Okay, 
so you see uh, this folding over and folding away the weapons uh, is um, something that keeps that really, really safe and um, seems to be a good approach to Viking Sword and Shield. Thank you very much for your attention.